So one of the most powerful tools of RedMC in terms of roster editing is the clone delete tool. And that is still available for if editing, which just is just amazing. Um, it allows for a lot of customization with the files that isn't normally possible with the other tools. So let's close out the tools that the files already had open. Let's open up the portrait file. Now, normally with portraits, if you want to get a custom portrait in here, you have to use, uh, I think it's the TIT program, um, the total import tool. Come on, get your head out of the gutter. Or, uh, I, actually, I don't really know how they <laughs> added new textures to the ifcdf file. Um, but with RedMC, it's as simple as just right-clicking and hitting clone. And then you go to the bottom where they always are. And as you can see, we have him cloned. Now, this file ID that you see next to here is very important as it shows where in the file um, it, it has to be in order, alphabetical order. I guess is the best way to describe it because this is in hex. Um, but see FD, FE, um, FF. So let's say that this is going to be for portrait texture um, 10,000. What we need to do for the game to recognize this is we need to edit this file ID. Now this file ID is actually the CRC32 check checksum <laughs> of this, whatever the name is. Thankfully, Vlad incorporated this into the tool. So all you had to do is change here, hit calculate, and boom, there it goes, right there. So now we need to find out where we need to sort this into the file ID system so that it actually loads up in game. Um, so seven, oh crap, I just lost it. It said seven, seven, right? And I can always just go to the bottom to find it again, but there it is right there. So it needs to be between, it needs to be right here at the 791 position. So what we can do is sort it by ID again, go back to the bottom, right click and use our move commands and just click all the time. No, uh, we go ahead and right click this, move to 791. Okay, and then go up to 791 and double check. And make sure this is all alphabetical and everything and happy, 77AB, 77BC, 77CF. And that's it. And of course, you can um, import your custom textures, whatever you like to have for this person's face. And you just hit save, and you should be all set. And you can go ahead and load up your favorite NBA Street roster. And go to, um, let's take the eraser, Nerlens Noel, and go over to his appearance. And change his portrait ID to... 10,000 and you should be all set in game now this isn't picture perfect um, in terms of how things work um, I know that 2k has very specific values it likes to hold dear you know for like generating its own portraits so I know like all the 3000s are um, dedicated just for generating um, portraits just like uh, for creative players and stuff so there are there is some wonkiness to get around but this also works for logo files, um, which could be useful for things like the ultimate base roster instead of overwriting my precious uh, create a team textures. But we, we'll, we'll forgive them because it's kind of a really awesome mod. Um, but that's basically how you uh, use this. So that's the basics of clone in um, for delete. There aren't too many things that you'd actually want to delete. There is a easier way to delete, and I'm going a little bit off script here. Um, let's load up, what's something we can delete? Let's load up a stadium. So let's just grab 76ers stadium. And let's say we want to get rid of the items. This is, again, the bench and everything, and this is something that I did manually through Hex um, to make my uh, pickup stadium, pickup gym uh, not have the bench anymore and all that fun stuff for blacktop mode. So you can go ahead and right-click and press delete. Boom. And now it's gone. <laughs> um, that is the, the brash way of doing it. The better way to do it, in my opinion, 
um, just so it doesn't load in game, is this mess with the file ID. So just change it to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom. If you do that, it will no longer load in game, and you can save it, and it's all happy. You just gotta remember that this name part right here means nothing to the game itself. Um, it's obviously where this is calculated from, the file ID is calculated from, but the game doesn't actually care. I mean, you can type in, uh, for instance, intro, intro uh, LeBron stuff, um, or you could, for intro climax, uh, just put Kobe sucks. I don't know. Um, you can type whatever you want, and when you save it, uh, RedMC will load this back up and in um, with the names that you had customly saved. That's... um. The ins and outs of clone and delete, and just how the uh, file ID and names work. Um, again, that can be a little bit confusing and everything. I'm willing to help however I can, so let me know in the comments below if you need extra help. Let me know in the tutorials thread if you need help, or in the RMC support thread. I try to check all three of them along with Vlad. So, uh, we'll go from there. Hope you learned something. Hope that helped, and I'll see you in the next video.